Zach Martin Kilmer here with Secrets of Longevity in Humans.com. It is Thursday, August 20th, 2009, and last couple days I think I've uh, messed up on the, the uh, what day I'm on. I believe it is day 5, but it should be day 4 according to what I was saying in the past videos, but I think I forgot to say on Sunday the day or something, or I got mixed up, I forgot to count that as one. Anyways, whatever day it is, uh, I'll get back on track with that. Uh, probably next week, on um, come Sunday. Um, a big part of the program here, uh, after you get your blood work done, Anna Maria Clement will prescribe you uh, various supplements that would be ideal for you to take during your stay here. Um, well, supplements as well as different therapies. Um, both her and Dr. Joe, who's another uh, one of the medical staff here, um, they give advice on the therapies etc. that would be ideal for your uh, situation and health level of health. Um, but basically everyone gets uh, a certain number of vitamin supplements that they recommend to take. They, they have their own brand that they've created here called Life Give, um, which is a whole food supplement line that they sell in the store here. You can also find it online to get the uh, very high quality uh, supplements. So I wanted to let you know why they would uh, prescribe supplements here and the reasons for that as well as uh, show you what supplements I'm taking and give you an idea of uh, why I'm taking those. A lot of people have uh, reservations around supplements. Uh, so Just like any other industry you're going to have people that are making various levels of quality and that's going to affect uh, people's results when taking a product so they're going to then change their opinion about it in the long run. Um, also about 92 percent or even higher um, of this, all supplements on the market are synthetic. So that means they're not derived from uh, whole, whole food sources. I mean, the term synthetic, some people question because a rock is synthetic, but it's not a... Uh, when we say whole food, we mean um, a supplement that comes from uh, something that we could eat to get it. So our body actually recognizes what it is. Our body doesn't recognize extracts of cow manure um, to get a specific vitamin. And people will make the argument that it's chemically the same, um, but you just look at the, the, uh, the way the immune function uh, rapidly decreases in someone taking these uh, supplements, and also uh, the impact it has in uh, creating toxicity in the body. It just accumulates. The body doesn't even be, isn't even able to absorb it. Um, this is shown in spectra cell analysis when instead of a regular blood test to see if you're deficient in something where you just look at the blood and what's floating around in the blood you break open the red or white blood cells and you see what nutrients are actually in the cells that are being absorbed by the body and then once it's in there it gets transferred to the cells uh, of the body for health. Um, Brian Clement has a book coming out in uh, October 2009 I believe or sometime in the fall about this. It's exposing the supplement industry. He's a very strong proponent uh, for this and that's excellent. We need that out there. But more and more people are coming to realize that whole food supplements are a must. Um, we can't get everything we need from a diet. You can't eat enough. Food is, even organic food, is less um, full of nutrients than it ever has been in the past. Uh, people are stressed more than ever. Uh, Brian uses the statistic that we are 12,000 times more stressed than people a couple of centuries ago. And that's just due to things like driving. Like, we don't think of driving as a stressful act, but our body has actually adapted to that and still reacts to it on a level of stress, going at high speeds, and that uses up more nutrients. Then there's the day-to-day -day things like people drinking caffeine, people... Uh, stress of life, balancing different things going on in their life. So you can have a healthy lifestyle, but you're still going to be using up more nutrients than normal. So even on a raw diet that's high in very powerful foods like superfoods and sprouts and other nutrient-dense foods uh, can benefit from these key nutrients that we get in whole food supplements. So one particular that stands out that everyone on the planet should be taking is a bacterial based B12 vitamin supplement. So this is um, the research Brian Clement as well as other researchers around the world have discovered is that the synthetic B12 is not absorbable, that's obvious, and then uh, 
60% of the population is deficient in B12 because we no longer have the digestive strength and the anatomy. We've actually, our large intestine has a portion of it that's uh, decreased in size over the years, and what we have left is the appendix. And so that used to be a bacteriological fermentation ground to uh, provide us with B12 if we had a healthy colon. But one, number one, people don't have healthy colons these days. Number two, people are having their appendix removed unnecessarily. And number three, um, it's not large enough. That used to be about the size of the, a boot, the toe of a boot, this little portion that used to ferment and culture bacteria. So even meat eaters, who everyone says are getting B12, aren't getting it because once you cook a product, you're losing the B12, it kills it off. Um, the only reason animal products would have B12 is they, uh, the animals eat off the ground and the bacteria is in the ground and during the dirt and grass and in the air and water that we eat and breathe. Um, so they, uh, they get their B12 that way and then we can, some people decide to consume animal product, products and get, uh, they consume them raw, which I highly recommend not doing. They're getting some B12. However, the what's been shown at the Hippocrates Health Institute here is that the people consuming animal products actually have the greatest deficiencies of this because of the uh, cooked nature of these products. Um, so yeah, they have the bacterial B12 that you can get, and then there's other uh, excellent supplements you can get as well. I'll show those to you shortly. This is my whole food supplement regime while I'm on my stay here at the Hippocrates Health Institute. I'll start on the right here. I'll just show you what I'm taking. This is a digestive enzyme. Uh, very big bottle of them. Um, this is perhaps one of the most commonly... I think they ask, actually ask everyone to go on these. Um, and of course all this is optional, but the digestive enzyme is very important for helping digest um, undigested bits of food that are remaining in your body from a cooked food lifestyle. And although raw food has uh, digestive enzymes in it, um, since raw food always has the enzymes still intact, uh, it's only about the 50% of the enzymes in a food is there to digest it, and the rest has to come from your body. The next here is systemic enzymes, which are uh, enzymes to help certain bodily functions. Um, the entire body works on enzymes, so that's a, that's a topic all unto itself to describe that, but that'll have to be another video someday. Got a men's formula, which is your basic multivitamin to make sure you're getting every nutrient available to, that we need. Uh, this is the B12 I was talking about. They recommend everyone to take this, the B12 Fort. Biotic Guard is a probiotic. Uh, power Powder is like a green powder, and it's just got a whole synergy, synergy of, of various uh, powerful super herbs and uh, juice extracts and. Perhaps one of the best power powders I've, green powders I've ever tried. Paragon is a parasite cleanse. Um, I'll probably just be finishing this up maybe a week after, or continue it for a week after my stay here. You don't want to stay on them too long, but it's uh, necessary for my health right now. And then the last three here are ones I brought from home, and it's just Agaricus Blazii capsules, which is a very powerful immune enhancer. Um, immune modulating mushroom. Uh, this is uh, Zeoforce, uh, Healthforce Nutritionals uh, Zeolite uh, in capsule form. It's a much higher concentration than the common liquid zeolites and that's just to help the detoxification process on this uh, very detoxifying diet so that it helps trap toxins and carry them out of the body. It's a type of volcanic clay. This is a chlorella powder that I brought from home. You can buy chlorella powder here, and that's also very important for the detoxification process and blood sugar regulation.